stop. Make you stop. I said make you stop. Jim! 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 What it is today, fellow Christians, and you're not Christian, maybe I die you, because man has chosen the sinful path of greed and selfishness. Sano ibada sa ibala fana kasa no pampa ondo. Edi fudi pia ne pesma kumiya. Let us take the mentally ill or the destitute who wander about in the streets and pick crumbs from the refuse bins and ask ourselves. How many were born that way? Or could it be that some of these people were the very teachers who taught you and I in the classroom yesterday to make us rich and prominent men of today? And I'm going to my brother, be a church of watching as in the man. And they are here. Escafo, Abraham Pong, and Mahomemi. Just cast your minds back. If that man you, you met this morning, or last Tuesday afternoon, collecting food from the streets, couldn't have been the, the same man who yesterday was good enough to be your I've come to pray. What's the matter with you? Manifold for the blessings which Almighty God, the Father of all mercies, bestowed upon the people of England when first he sent his Majesty's royal person to rule and reign over his subjects. Amen.
child never watches a fetish dance. A Christian child oh, never watches a fetish dance. What did I say? Christian child is a fetish dance. What did I say? A Christian child is a fetish dance. What did I say? A Christian child is a fetish dance. Come on. Swine. And I'll have your headmaster know about this. to church and let the church to watch a fetish dance. Two children of elders of the church let the church to watch a fetish dance. What have we taught all children of Christ not to do? We will therefore set an example with these two bad pupils. Archibald Bosomfield, Connaught, four big boys. Agnes Antumam, four out. Bring him down. Use your shorts and let's see what is there. Hurry up. Hurry up. Quickly. Hurry up. We shall start all over again for the count of 16. Good morning, sirs. Good morning. I shall inform His Excellency of your presence, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. His Excellency, the Governor, will now receive you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Bosomfield, you're here. Mr. Sniper. Good morning, Quincy. Good morning, Excellency. Please sit down. Thank you, Excellency. I want to congratulate you personally on your promotion to District Commissioner for Accra on His Majesty's Gold Coast. I'm much obliged, Your Excellency. You've earned it. I must say that your devotion to duty and to the Crown has indeed made you one of the most outstanding and deserving citizens among your fellow countrymen. I'm proud of you. You've been mentioned in dispatches to the Colonial Office in London. 
Thank you, Your Excellency. However, I need hardly emphasize the enormous responsibilities which, as His Majesty's District Commissioner for the Capital, you will have to cope with. Of course, of course, I haven't the slightest doubt of your ability to do the job well, Mr. Bosomfield. I'll do my best, Your Excellency. You do realize the Governor has broken protocol, Mr. Bosomfield. I'm inviting you here to congratulate you personally. I'm much obliged, Your Excellency. <clears throat> well done. Have you uh, been recommended for membership to the European Club? Not yet, sir. Well, you must become a member. At the appropriate time, of course. You have been recommended to move into a bungalow in the uh, European quarters, I'm informed. Yes, sir. I'm much obliged. I'm most grateful, Your Excellency. Well done, Quincy. I must say, you're a shining example to your countrymen. What's more, I'm delighted to see a fellow Cambridge man outshining them all, Quincy. I'll do my best for His Majesty's office, Your Excellency. Well done, Quincy. Good morning. Good morning, Your Excellency. And, sir, I am most grateful for this singular honor accorded me, sir. Congratulations, Mr. Bosomfield. DC, sir. Oh. Pardon me, Mr. Bosomfield. Um, congratulations, DC. Thank you, sir. Morning. It is indeed with great pride and honor that I welcome our esteemed guests to our humble school this today. It is our fervent hope that our honored guests shall enjoy the short place which we have prepared for them. The first on the program, honorable guest, is about the well-known character of Africa, adapted by a very creative head teacher, Mr. Frank Addison. I am Shokologo Bagosho of Africa. I live with my spear in the jungle. I kill every creature that comes my way and eat it. Ah, but when I kill a human being, I swing to my house on the tallest tree. Swing back with the biggest black pot. Make a big fire. Put him inside. And <laughs> dance like this. Santua came as a surprise to me, sir. Not to worry, Headmaster. I assume there was a dress rehearsal before the performance. I saw the dress rehearsal, sir. Yes, Santua was not the program, sir. It's all the making of Mr. Chroma, sir. Who is this man, a Chroma? Uh, he was the MC for the occasion, sir. I, I, I'll deal with him, sir. I can assure you. Thank you, Headmaster. It's been an honor for us, sir.
Well, class, who was that great warrior king? Yes, the Graf Pendleton. Mary Jata. Wrong. Still does it. Shaga de Zuru. Good. Clap for him. Now, who said you can play Major music? Mama. Can you see me in my office immediately? Now, who said you can play a music of some sort with the white keys on the piano? But if you want a perfect harmony, then you must add the black keys as well. Yes, Chrissy Dixon. Sir, God in God is well. Wrong. Agnes. Dr. Quetri, Agri of Africa. Good. Clap for her. Well, peoples, this may be my last day with you as your teacher. You've been a wonderful class. But you must always remember Ya Santua, King Shaka de Zulu, and Dr. Kwejil Agri. Be good, children. Goodbye. I presume. Oh, yes, ma'am. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you very much, ma'am. I'm much obliged. Against the wall, I, I'd like to see. No, a little more to the side. That's too far. Yes, sir. No, that's too much. More to this side. Yes, that's what I said. And watch your crooked hands. Hold it properly. At the center. Sorry, sir. You'll soon feel better. Hmm? 
Sorry, I was nursing Archie's sore. The poor child is in pain. Yes, quite. Uh, do you think this is the right place to hang it up? Yes, it is. He looks majestic, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He was crowned after his elder brother, the Prince of Wales, uh, King Edward, that is, abdicated. Edward was quite a handsome king too, you know. When he was Prince of Wales, he came to the Gold Coast, and I was one of the fortunate students to shake his hand when he visited Achimoto College. Achimoto College was originally named after him, you know, the Prince of Wales College it was. And, but I must have told you this story six times or more. It's a great story. Yes, it is, isn't it? the neighborhood. My name is Bobby. Bobby Sniper. You're welcome. My name is Penelope. Penelope Bossington. Please come in and meet my mummy. should keep to his own compound, that's all. I'm sorry, darling. Some damn fool of a native teacher called a chroma has been fermenting trouble. I understand. Take it easy, okay? Mm -hmm. Daddy didn't mean it, darling. Come on. Don't take it so hard. What did I do wrong? Didn't do anything wrong. You know, I've often imagined what it must be like to be one of the natives. You can invite Penelope to tea any time you like. It's just... Daddy's been overworked lately. He has a very difficult duty to perform. Has to make the best of a difficult situation. I wish you were old enough to understand. But you will one day. Come on, sweetheart. Give me a smile. to send our children to school. Eh? We'll occupy the worst of houses in our own country. Eh? We die in our numbers while abundant medicine rot in the European hospitals, which cater for very few people.
And yet, and yet this land belongs to us. Yes. And all the money that goes into the building of the hospitals and the purchase of the medicine comes from us. And yet, we get very little. Are we going to suffer this human disgrace in this blessed land of ours? Yeah. How long? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. The African land belongs to Africans. Yeah. If we must suffer for this land, then we must also enjoy the fruits of this land. That's the way. The only effective way, therefore, to start our struggle is by strike action. I therefore propose that we strike. Tobay! and a big hand and a very open speech. He really strengthens my belief that I have something of value called Go Coast, for which I must sacrifice my life. <laughs> <laughs> so that our children and our grandchildren could have a better nation to live in. <laughs> but much as I agree with the Deputy Secretary General that we must embark upon a strike action, I would advise that a strike action becomes an alternative. Oh, no. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. Because we all know that for the first time, one of us, thank God, I mean a son of this land has been appointed a district commissioner. Oh. Let us therefore give him a chance. No. He may be sympathetic. Of course, course. Bussonville is not one. Let us give him a chance and find out who he really is. No. 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 We've sent enough petitions through the district commissioner's office. Yes. yes, that was a different person. They are all the same. They are all the same. That was a different person. who says that if you want to find out whether a man has swollen testicles, give him the soap when he's in the bath. <laughs> so we have heard our leader and his deputy speak. They both make sense. But let us please find out who this Busum Field really is. No, no, let's no, 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 a strike action now. Raise your hand. One hundred and ten. Those who are in favor of a petition, raise your hand. One hundred and eighty. <coughs> Mr. Kromar is here, sir. Let him in. Good afternoon, sir.
What is the meaning of this? You want better houses, you want jobs, you want lower health charges, you want more pay, you want lower prices, you want more jobs, and what? We deserve a change for better living conditions, sir. Jolly interesting. Don't we all, my dear sir? But we do have to work for it. Within a month, just a month of my becoming DC, and here comes this long petition. You want this, you want that, you want everything. You go back and tell your people, they just can't jump on the bandwagon. They'll not get a thing without sweat. They'll definitely have to work for it. I thought you'd be reasonable with us, sir. There is no better reasoning than what I've just told you, Mr. Kwama. I occupy this seat through hard work. It's clear and simple. Thank you, sir. It's a jolly pleasure. I regret to inform you that our petition did not receive a favorable reaction. Ah. 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 There is no other alternative <laughs> than to strike. Hey. Yes. Toboy! Toboy! Wait! Wait! Toboy! Isn't that what I said? Ask him to get in touch with me as soon as he comes in. Bosomfield. Yes, it's urgent. Good morning, sir. Good afternoon, Quincy. It's past two. The governor's very concerned about the situation. It seems to be gaining national appeal. Well, everything's under control, sir. There is no cause for alarm. The police are already on the alert, and it's really only a, a few disgruntled agitators. Your daughter is here to see you, sir. I'm busy, Roberts. It may be serious, sir. Let her in. Yes? Mama says that Archibald is very ill, Papa. She says you must please come immediately. Tell Mama to give Archibald some quinine or aspirin. I'm busy. I think you'd better go in person, Quincy. I don't think there's anything more than malaria, sir. And the police are already on the alert. I do have to be here. And I do have to finish the situation report, sir. Yes. Tell Mama I'll be back soon. Yes. Bosomfield is the police, sir. Yes? Sixty police reinforcements for the bungalows and six hundred for the mining areas. Excellent. Yes. Very well. Very well. Thank you. Who are you? And how did you get in here? My name is Francis Asian. 
There was nobody at the front room, sir. Yes, what is it? Uh, I'm the Assistant Secretary General of the Association for Freedom, sir. Yes? Our association was supposed to be a non-violent one through which our grievances could be heard. But I am not happy the way things are going, sir. Yes? Well, Kwame Akroma is... Archibald Kojo Bosomfield's life was well lived as though a million years through the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. As Christ was called to sit by the right hand of his father, so shall Archibald Kojo Bosomfield's soul be among the chosen children of our Lord Jesus Christ. And since Almighty God has called our brother Archibald Kojo Bosomfield from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth from which it was made. Christ was the first to rise from the dead, and we know that he will raise up our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. We commend our brother to the Lord. May the Lord receive him into his peace and raise up his body on the last day. Amen. Amen. Earth to earth, dust to dust, ashes to ashes. Amen. You got my note through the regional commissioner, I suppose? Yes, Your Excellency. I hear the strikers are on the rampage. Looting. His Majesty's police force has the situation under control, Your Excellency. Very well, Quincy. Oh, by the way, what is your assessment of the leadership of the association? I consider Kwame Akroma, Your Excellency, as one of those disgruntled few who want to use the people for their own political ambitions, Your Excellency. He's not popular, Your Excellency. I see. Uh, you also mentioned one uh, Francis Ezion, whom you described as being intelligent. Well, he's the association's assistant secretary general. He's keeping us well informed, Your Excellency. Uh, you've uh, offered him the usual incentives, I suppose? <laughs> yes. He's been recommended for a senior post at His Majesty's Post Office. And a scholarship to study postal administration in Liverpool. Uh, apart from other financial considerations, Your Excellency. And we have been giving them some covert incentives, Your Did you say them? Uh, well, yes. There, there are other members of the executive on his side, Your Excellency. Oh. <laughs>
Mr. Bessian, Your Excellency. Uh, yes, Ezian. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Your Excellency. Do sit down. Good. Congratulations. I understand there's a tribal rift in your association. That I don't know of, Your Excellency. Mm. We have information that your leader, Mr. Ancoman, intends to discredit your group and replace you with members of his tribe. I think by now he's become aware that you don't approve of his extreme and selfish ideas. You're not a member of his tribe, are you? No, Your Excellency. Mm. Thank you very much, sir. And you know what to do, Francis. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Let's go, folks. men to hold their ground. Yes, sir. You cannot come beyond this point. We would like to deliver a petition to the governor, sir. His Excellency will not receive your note, sir. You know that all petitions are channeled through the district commissioner's office. We have tried it through the DC. It didn't work, sir. I suggest you try it again. We are here to see the governor. We are here to see the governor. We want to see the governor. We want to see the governor. In the name of His Excellency, the governor, I order you to stop. In the name of His Majesty, the King, I order you to stop and disperse. In the name of His Majesty, the King, I order you to fire. Can I see you for a moment? Patrick, something just doesn't seem logical to me. I can't exactly place it, but something just doesn't seem to make sense. What exactly do they want? 
just a group of ambitious natives agitating for political power, sir. Just a group of ambitious natives agitating for political power. Have I been kept adequately informed of this development, Patrick? I don't understand the question, sir. You damn well understand the question, Patrick! Why should unarmed natives, including poor mothers with babies, just march into the precincts of His Majesty's Governor's offices and start throwing stones in the face of guns? That's the question I'm asking you, Patrick! Have you carried out any plans that I would not have sanctioned? Are you trying to mislead me, Mr. Sniper? Not at all, Your Excellency. I'm beginning to wonder, Patrick. Sir? Is this why you allowed a defenseless mother to be murdered? Not me, I swear. We didn't do it. Chica, tell him. Yes, it was Essien. Yes, it was Essien. Thank you. Okay, let's go. of the captain, sir. Thank you.
Excellency, the female prison was filled, so we decided to transfer some women here temporarily. Is this in order, Mr. Snow? I would suggest that all the female prisoners and the least dangerous of the political prisoners be released immediately. Yes, Your Excellency. Akuma. Mr. Akuma, Your Excellency. Oh, yes. Akuma. You cannot win by violence, Mr. Akuma. That's what I thought yesterday. That's the only way I shall also win my freedom. has crossed the Atlantic Ocean for the sole purpose of performing the much revered conferral of knighthood, which tradition allows to take place only in Buckingham Palace. Obviously, this great tradition has had to be broken because one of His Majesty's most loyal subjects has so excelled himself in his performance as His Majesty's District Commissioner that his absence from his post for only one day would have been dearly felt. Recognizing that all distinguished guests are anxious to see this much revered conferral of knighthood proceed, I call upon His Royal Majesty, the King of the British Empire, to commence. Distinguished guests, his Royal Majesty. Rise, Sir Quincy Arthur Bosomfield. Sir, it is three o'clock and you haven't gone for lunch. Oh, Mr. Wilmers. Uh, yes. Because <clears throat> I am a bit tired. Oh, oh yes. Mm. What happened to the corned beef and potatoes? I wasn't feeling too well. I thought something simple would do.
Are we going to spend the rest of our lives mourning? I was informed this morning that he died of tetanus. And uh, who informed you? Dr. Aqua. Do Dr. who? Aqua? What does Aqua know about medicine to tell me what killed my son? What has Aqua ever known? And what did Aqua know in Achimota? Aqua? I beat him in Latin, French, Greek, mathematics, English. The only subject the poor chap could do was Fanti. And what do you do with mother tongue Fanti, my dear? Aqua. He wandered into Fur Bay College in Sierra Leone and some all Negro institution in America called Howard. Please. When we're talking about better qualified doctors like the Forbesons, the Cousy Dixons, the Cufoda Costas, please, not Aqua. I mean, these are gentlemen who went through Cambridge through scholarship, my dear. Not to, you know, sheer luck. What has that got to do with it? It's got everything to do with the doctor's competence, my dear. We're talking here about scholarship and competence. You do understand. My son died of the flogging. Shall we all not die of something, my dear? Look, Teresa. What about all those other children who were caned that day? Did they all die of tetanus? I mean, whoever went through school without getting punished for doing something or other wrong, for not going to church, missing school, did we all die from it? I mean, if a child could be caned for speaking his own mother language, I do not see how a child from a Christian home should be spared for indulging in pagan festivities. I'm afraid Archibald's experience can be no worse than mine, Teresa. You can't even feel for your own son. Well, I'll certainly not mourn forever to show my grief. You're a slave, Chrissy. What did you say? You're a slave. How dare you, Teresa? hear some rather strange noises coming from our quarters. Sir, uh, uh, it was my daughter and the steward boy, sir. I see. What a pity. Uh, interesting. Um, I'm sorry, sir. No, not at all. Uh, no, no, no apologies. Nothing at all. Thank you, sir. Uh, goodbye. to report to the DC, sir. Uh, your name, my dear? Esther Wilson, sir. Miss. Ah, yes. I shall inform the DC that you are here presently. died during questioning without giving a useful word, sir. I, I hear they've taken some sort of fetish oath. Hmm. Keep me informed of any further developments, Quincy. Yes, sir. I will. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes? 
that Miss Wilson is here, sir. Let her in. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. For how long have you been a teacher, Miss Wilson? Three years, almost four years, sir. And how many years do you spend at school? Ten years at the English Church Mission ECM Primary School, five years at Ashmoser College, two years at Ashmoser Teacher Training College, 17 years in all, sir. How old are you? 27, sir. Spell me bungalow. I beg your pardon, sir. Bungalow, bungalow. Spell it. Capital B, U, N, G, A, double L, single L, O, W, bungalow. And what does it mean? Um, uh, bungalow is a house built in the quarters reserved for Europeans, sir. I didn't hear you. It's a house built in the quarters reserved for Europeans, sir. And what are the basic regulations governing such quarters? There should be no loitering, and there should be absolute quiet at the quarters, sir. So, you are not ignorant after all. But your 17 years as a student and your four years as a teacher seem to have taught you extremely little. After a hard morning's work at His Majesty's DC's office, trying to get a little bit of rest, and there you were, my clever 27-year-old teacher. Pussycat, Pussycat, where have you been? I kill the cat. That's very cruel. Yes, maybe, but it does help sometimes. After all, all deaths end with the last breath. you want? Mr. Wilson, for mother wants you have. In mother proper? Ah. Come. I see, bro. That's yeah. Oh, I see there anymore. Whether it is nobler in the mind to bear the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take up arms against the sea of troubles. <coughs> what is it? Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. One moment to be continued. Mommy, now if you hear them, now I'm going to cry. My back, when someone comes, my tea there, why am I bringing it to you? Ma, the meeting, when you are better now, I'm bringing it to you. Ma, I'm going to the inner to one cup, or I'm going to go about it. Mammy Dassi, young fine. Mammy, 
Now, we him. Mammy, Miss Moko, my boy. Now, I don't know say. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My apologies. Come, sir. Who was it? Why couldn't your visitor join us here? Esther, he's at it again, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> My hands are clean, Forbison. I was only a relative. Aren't we all relatives? Come now, Quincy. <laughs> 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 Jimmy, I hasten slowly. Yeah. First in a lente, that's what Latin says. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chrissy. Enough for the day. That was splendid. Thank you, old boy. Well, thanks awfully. <laughs> Thank you, old chap. Thank you very much for coming. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> wonderful to have you here. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Quincy. Uh, Take care you. of your body. Okay. We'll do. We'll oh, do. Boy. <laughs> Thank you for coming. All right. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, Liam. Goodbye. Brother. Yeah, see ya. Mommy. Mm. 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 You're not rough, ma. It's a boom, 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 Um, I'm sorry, sir, um, but I thought there's something of historic importance that I thought you should see, sir. Not oh, quite in order. What is it? Uh, please sit down. Thank you, sir. Oh, exquisite. Most interesting. 
amazing piece of craftsmanship. It was acquired by the great Nsuna warrior called Kwaugus Mefi. It's been passed down from generation to generation for 500 years. Interesting. Most interesting. You can keep it as my humble token of esteem, Your Excellency. Can I really? Oh, yes, Your Excellency. Thank you, Mr. Bosomfield. Oh, I'm not here. I'm not here. 
Mami, mami, mimi ni sana. Mimi cho, ufa nembi na ngbo. Can I see Dr. Formison, please? Uh, please tell him it's Quincy. It's urgent. I'll inform the doctor, sir. I I'd be grateful if you'd hurry. It's urgent. Thank you. Uh, is Dr. Kusi Dixon on duty, please? Are your patient here, sir? Sir. Roger. What brings you here, old boy? Roger, you've got to do something for this child. She's sick. She's dying. You know I can't, Quincy. Damn it, Roger. A human being is dying. I'll do anything for you, old boy. But you know the regulations. Stop the rhetoric. This is not rhetoric, Quincy. This is rules and regulations. And you know the consequences if I break them, my district commissioner. All right, all right. I'll give an undertaking. I'll accept the blame, Roger. Nurse, please give the district commissioner a piece of paper. Thank you, Roger. Do this for me, Roger. I know I can trust you.
Sit down, please, Mr. Roberts. His Excellency and Mr. Sniper have been trying to speak to you on the telephone uh, since yesterday, uh, six times in all, sir. Thank you, Mr. Roberts. Mr. Roberts, uh, please sit down. Mr. Roberts, do you believe in dreams? How do you mean, sir? Well, how seriously do you take dreams? Uh, uh, I may sound rather superstitious, sir, uh, but I believe that every dream is a reminder of what had once happened or is to happen. Uh, they come in many forms, sir. Uh, but I believe that every man must learn to interpret his own dream, sir. Uh, I hope, sir, that I have not in any rude manner sounded rather like a, a prophet, sir. Oh, no, no, not at all, Mr. Roberts. Um, thank you, Mr. Roberts. Quincy, where have you been? This is my fourth call since yesterday. I went to the hospital, sir. Well, aren't you well? It's not me, sir. It's a child. A child? Yes, sir. I picked her up from Community D, sir. She was in a bad state. So she didn't make it. I'm not quite with you, Quincy. You picked up a child from Community D? She was in a bad state. She didn't quite make it. I don't understand. I'll explain later, sir. Well, I've received some classified information about the association. Can you come over right away? The governor's getting anxious. Hello, Quincy. Are you still there? I feel slightly ill, sir. I'd like to go home and um, rest a while. Can I make it first thing tomorrow morning, sir? If it's malaria, you better take some quinine and be up pink and fit tomorrow morning. Much obliged, sir. Tomorrow morning, Quincy. Goodbye. Good afternoon, Mr. Cromer. Good afternoon, sir. Well, I... I'm not here in any official capacity. I... I'm here to say... to say how brave you and your followers have been. And to say I'm sorry. Sorry for what has happened to you and the people. What have you done wrong, Mr. Brusenfield? I'm sorry for your being here. I don't understand any of this. But whatever it is, this place is no different from home. They're both prisons. But we have faith. I appreciate that. I, I really do. I didn't understand you before. The feeling was... was different. Can we now find a place on your barn wagon, Mr. Bosomfield? I am sorry. The poor mother's languishing here. I came to say I'm sorry and to... Does that bring back the dead? Or heal our wounds? I don't bear you any grudge, Mr. Bosomfield. But I will not get up and embrace you just because you suddenly turned around behind this cage to say I am sorry. I, I, I owe my people an apology. Yeah, thanks for the sympathy. If you excuse me. Good afternoon. Have you ever asked yourself who you really are, Mr. Bosomfield? Hmm? Penelope! Penelope! Yes, Papa! Come on. Come on, Penelope. How are you, Penelope? 
I'm fine, Papa. I've missed you. I miss you too, Papa. How's Mommy? She's fine. Is Mommy still angry with me? Mommy says you have a new wife. It's not exactly so, Penelope. When can we come back home? Very soon, I hope. Mommy, I'm back Do your school friends sometimes call you by a middle name? No, Papa. I named you after my mother, you know. And she's a very strong woman. Like you. Come, let me take you home. Pick up Mama Bokmo from school. I thought I'd say hello. How are you? Mommy, please say something to Papa. Well, I, I thought I'd say hello. I humbly take this liberty, most respectfully, to submit for your consideration the following issues. May I respectfully? Aren't you well, darling? Tired. Just tired. That's better. Yeah. Sit down and rest your feet. While I get you a glass of refreshing water. most humbly admit at this juncture that since I assumed the office of His Majesty's District Commissioner for Accra, there have been moments in the recent past when I have deluded myself into believing Recent experiences have crystallized certain issues in my mind. I therefore humbly beg to recommend for His Excellency's consideration a review of the existing instrument that governs His Royal Majesty's Gold Coast and an introduction of a new instrument. Thank you. Sir, that shall reflect the genuine needs of my people. May I, sir? Let me show you this one. In the light of the aforementioned, I also beg to recommend a review of the continued imprisonment. Gorgeous. 
Very interesting. Of Mr. Kwame Akrumah and his compatriots. I humbly beg. Could you get me um, an official letterhead, please? To crave His Excellency's indulgence to consider the matters raised above. Here it is, Quincy. Thank you. As urgent, I have the honor to be, sir, your most humble, obedient servant, Quincy. Quincy. Arthur Bosomfield, DC. I prefer a much longer veil to go with a gown, with lots of frills around the edge. Naturally. Of course, of course. I'd like to assure you all that I'll pass your grievances to His Excellency the Governor for consideration. Thank you. Thank you all for your patience. interesting note. You recommend changes that are quite fundamental. Although I couldn't agree with you more on the rather general nature of your note, I think I should like to be quite clear in my mind exactly what changes I might have to recommend to His Majesty's Office for the Colonies. For example, first you talk about, and I quote, a man's struggle for what is his right cannot be denied him. How exactly do you mean, Quincy? So, for instance, I think that while an African at school is taught the meaning of the scriptures in the Bible and the Quran, while he's taught to take pride in other people's values, he should, for example, have, know the meaning of the pouring of libations. I think a man must know where he comes from 
to help him find his bearings, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, when I was born, I was named Kwesi Atabus Mefi. And my name had meaning. Kwesi means a Sunday born, Atta means a twin. Busmefi means an illustrious ancestor is born again. Then I started school. I, I was christened. I began to learn the English language, along with all the values that come with it. And then I began to feel that, well, that my name was, well, perhaps the very sound of it was primitive, inferior. So I anglicized it. Quincy became Quincy. Atta became Arthur. And Busmefi became Bosmfield. What's in the name, Your Excellency? I feel like an alien in an ancestral home, like a man without heritage. I can't even relate to my own mother anymore. I suppose I know more about other people's values than what I can really call my own. Karl Marx, Napoleon Bonaparte, George Washington. Oh yes, you name it. Anything that is foreign to me and I will readily claim knowledge of and pride in it. Perhaps that's what makes me an intellectual. Enlightened, Your Excellency. But Your Excellency, who am I? I see you. Interesting. Quite interesting. Quincy, you have been part of the administrative machinery, and uh, Mr. Ankor, your Akroma, uh, thank you, Akroma. He is aware of your importance within that administrative machinery. Your Excellency, I am prepared to take responsibility for my actions. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, I think that gives me a clearer picture. Thank you, Mr. Bosenfield. That will be all. Much obliged, Your Excellency. Good morning. Good morning, Your Excellency. Oh, Quincy, I understand you had an appointment with Mr. Cromer on Thursday. Yes, Your Excellency, I did. That'll be all. And thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Well, sir? Well, Patrick, I can't say I'm really surprised. There seems to be what one might call an evolutionary change in the air. I suppose you might be right, sir. May I be excused, sir? Yes, Patrick, you may. Good day, sir. And Patrick? Yes, sir. I would hope that this issue might be handled more carefully from now on. You don't intend to take any action that might seem rash, do you? Certainly not, Your Excellency. Good day, sir. Oh, Patrick, do I understand that Mr. Cromer's following is based on tribal consideration? Have you heard anything to the contrary, sir? No, no, Patrick. Just thinking. That will be all. Stop! What do you want? I want to see Mr. Bosworth. I work for Governor Office. Very important message from Governor. He didn't sleep. Oh, I see an important message from Governor. Here, a letter from the Governor.
sent you? Who sent you? Who sent you? The policeman is dead. Ah! Ah. Ah. Yes, sir. Constable, open the gate. Mr. Busonville, sir. First, I think he won't come see you. Then we open the gate. Then he drive away. Right. Johnny, what is it? Nothing. Now go back to bed. Quincy. The casket. What is this, this Quincy? The casket. I want it back. This is ridiculous, Quincy. The casket, Your Excellency. I want it. I'll send for it then. Where is it? It's in the United Kingdom, of course. You know where it is. When can I have it back? Soon, I hope. Let me pass. Yes, 
snap it. Read all about it. Know all about it. Know all about it. Read all about it. Read all about it. Be tired at all. Marvels of Nicholas Snap. Marvels of Nicholas Snap. Read all about it. Saber my children, but young upon the Tamasin. When animals fall off on some of the Tamasin. When I'm home, do Jerome for another woman. In a busy at Tabus Murphy, the Bram, Mamma Won. When I'm home, clear I do Jerome for another woman. In the day. I see a tabus my fairy connects a man chill. Mara home this year. Home this year. No, you don't need it. Need your pata. Na na numpa na kumada hon. Ibe bunu toto ba. I see a tamba. Ana uwe free day. Ija no ma koto odan bunya. Maybe I I'm Mamma, dear, we're too. Honey, you don't cry. Mamma, you don't cry. Papa Sata will be him. Send them back. Nana knows a man for yard. Don't cheer up, Pona, and another Oh no, my dad's untied the So what's the core? Let a friend draw on him. Onye she, onka na bujero. Aso, dey ya manzi hun, dey ya mama. Mm-hmm. <laughs>